In this video, we're going to read questions 7 through 10. Follow along with me, please. Let's start on question 7. Study the image below. What inference can be made about the Freedmen's Bureau based on the source? Let's take a look at the source. Take a look at some of the details that we see here. Okay. And let's look at our answer choices. The Bureau was created to provide services to newly freed slaves, such as education. The Bureau transported free slaves to the North for new economic opportunity. President Johnson vetoed Congress's bill to create the Freedmen's Bureau. So again, what inference can be made about the Freedmen's Bureau based on this source? Go ahead and answer. Question number seven, please. All right, here's number eight. Read the quote below. The 15th Amendment granted what? Here's the quote. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of race, color, or previous condition of servitude. It's the 15th Amendment of 1870. So the question, the 15th Amendment granted what? Freedom for slaves in all of the United States, all women the right to vote, African-American men the right to vote. Please answer number eight now. Here's number nine. The measures in this list are examples of ways Southern states weakened the effects of the, let's look at the box, it says poll taxes, literacy tests, and grandfather clauses. So the measures in this list are examples of ways Southern states weakened the effects of what? The, the Compromise of 1850, the 14th and 15th Amendments, or the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo? Please answer number nine. All right, here's number 10. Let's read the question first. It says, in this excerpt, W.E.B. Dubois criticizes what? Let's look at the quote. The slave went free, stood a brief moment in the sun, then moved back again towards slavery. So in this excerpt, W.E.B. Dubois criticizes what? The abolition of slavery in the British Empire without compensation to owners. The failure of reconstruction to maintain freedom for African Americans. Or the decision of the United States to annex the Philippines and Puerto Rico as colonies. Please answer number 10. Once you've answered, all the questions on this page, you could always go back and check your work. And once you're completely done, you can press submit on this fourth page. Great job today, guys.